Hello, everyone. My name is Joanna Martinez, and I'm the director of Talent Solutions Bay Area at Leaders Up. And at Leaders Up, we're super excited to share with you all our new online learning model called Brand Up. And Brand Up stands for Build, Raise, and Navigate Your Dreams. And in this webinar, I'll walk you through the meaning, the purpose, and the learning objectives of Brand Up, as well as some of the technical processes for onboarding your participants or learners in this case to engage with this new platform effectively. Our brand up content lives on Google Classroom. And we chose Google Classroom as our learning management platform for several reasons. One, it allows us to streamline career development concepts with practice. It also allows us to reinforce the relevance of content through personal reflection on the part of the learner. It also allows us to capture and document the learning journey through a series of guided knowledge check questions on Google Forms that you'll see throughout this webinar and through my demo. Google Classroom also allows us to track classwork and materials, share resources and interact in the class stream or by email with our learners, and receive completed assignments from each learner. BrandUp is a digital course series that prepares the next generation of job seekers for the 21st century workplace by equipping them with the tools, skills, and resources needed for personal and professional success. BrandUp includes four modules, starting with ShareUp, then KidUp, PowerUp, and GameUp. This series of professional development experiences will support young adults with developing a marketability package that includes tools and strategies for one, identifying their personal and professional strengths, two, communicating personal and professional values and value adds in the workplace, and three, organizing and demonstrating evidence of their talent in order to optimize their career opportunities. For the purposes of this webinar, we'll only focus on Module 1, which is ShareUp. And ShareUp is your participants' opportunity to brand their story. This is where young adults learn how to create an introduction to their professional brand with an emphasis on dressing for success, mock interview skills, and resume development. ShareUp is a four-part experience that will help young adults connect with the skills and tools needed to win at work and in life. Once completed, young adults will have a professional brand portfolio that can help them as they connect to career development opportunities. ShareUp stands for Simple Highs, which is how to introduce your professional brand. Simple Asks, how to think through questions about your professional brand. Simple Recaps, how to package your professional brand via a resume. And Simple Explanations, how to detail your professional brand. Let's take a deeper dive into the ShareUp learning outcomes. So for section one, simple highs, this is all about introducing your professional brand. And this is where the learner will understand the importance of dressing for success in the interview and on the job, defining their professional purpose, developing a 30 to 60 second professional pitch, communicating using nonverbal and verbal cues. And in section two, simple asks, this is about responding to questions about their professional brand. We'll cover general interview questions, legal and illegal questions, and strategies for answering either, strategic insights questions, and self-reflective questions that are asked during an interview. In section three, simple recaps, we'll run over how to create a resume for their professional brand, from start to finish, starting with the professional summary and how to articulate relevant school, work, and life experience on the resume. And lastly, in section four, simple explanations, we'll go into detail about how their professional brand can be amplified using the START framework to respond to situational and or behavioral interview questions using relevant detail about the situation, the required tasks, associated with the situation, actions taken by the learner, results achieved, and the individual talent engaged. So what your learners will need in order to engage effectively with our Google Classroom is a Gmail account. 
If they don't have a Gmail account, we highly encourage to create a Gmail account because this is the only way that we'll be able to invite the learners into the Google Classroom. They'll also need internet access as they'll be working on the Google Classroom material using a computer and or a mobile device such as a cell phone. We also highly encourage our learners to use a notebook and pen to take notes on the side as well. On the facilitator side, or our provider partners, what we'll need from you all is to send the learners Gmail addresses to the Leaders Up team. The learners will receive the Google Classroom invite in their emails, which will instruct them to open the invitation and log in. The learners can also access the classroom using the classroom code on this slide, which you can share directly with them. Upon invitation, the learners can join the classroom using this invitation on the left, side, left hand side. Once they click the join button in their emails, it'll take them to the right hand image, which is the classroom home page. Now I'm going to demo and switch over to demo the classroom itself. So this is the landing page once they click join. They'll have direct access. I also want to note that this is the classroom code here, which is also on slide six for you all to share with your learners. That's another way that they can access the Google Classroom, again, as long as they have a Gmail address. Once your participant clicks on the Join button in their email invitation, they'll be directed to this page. From this page, they should click on the Classwork tab, where all of the learning content lives, including overviews, modules, assignments, and notifications. First, if your participant has not yet registered for the Future at Work Summit, they can register here by clicking on this form, opening the form, and then submitting. Second, after they register, they must click on the Brand Up Overview in order to understand the learning objectives of this entire course. As an important note, once they're done with each assignment, they must click Submit at the end of the form. If they don't click Submit, then we have no way of tracking completion of this assignment or section. Another important note is for the participants to not close out of the Google Form before submitting it. If they close the form, they will not be able to go back and complete the form. If they want to take a break and come back to the form, they should keep the form open on their screen or in a separate tab. If they close the form, their answers to the questions on the form will not be saved, unfortunately. A workaround could be that the learner writes down their answers or notes on a separate sheet of paper in case they accidentally close the form. After they've completed the Brand Up Overview, they should go to the Module 1 Share Up assignment. And the first assignment is Introduction to Share Up. This is going to give them an overview of the ShareUp learning objectives. Once they've completed the ShareUp learning obje objectives, they should go to Simple Highs, which is the first section under ShareUp, and this is all about the introduction to their brand. I'm going to walk you through now what this would look like for the young adults. They would click on the assignment, Google Form, and this is what the initial interface looks like. Each section generally starts with an overview of that section, what to expect in that section, and then some sections also include a series of videos. This is the overview for this section. Also, in each section, the learners will see content related to learn it, see it, and do it. Learn it is all informational content around how to brand up. See it are examples of how to brand up, and do it are knowledge check questions or activities that they, they're prompted to do in order to amplify their brand up in real life experiences. And again, these sections will include series of videos, which are embedded from YouTube. 
And so because they come from YouTube, the functions are the same as YouTube videos. One can fast forward and skip videos. One can adjust the volume for the videos and pause the videos as well. Here is the see it content, which is an example in this case of how to work your look for an interview and on the job. And here are some knowledge check questions or some do it content. Some of these knowledge check questions are structured so that the learner inputs in blank fields their answers or in multiple choice. And I want to skip over to the end of this particular section to show the very end of it. Uh, where they're prompted to submit the form. They're also given some instruction around what's next. So in this case, what would be next is to go back to the Google Classroom and click on the next section, which is section two, simple asks, interview questions. And they do the same thing here. I'd like to note a few things here. First, once a learner completes and submits the entire module, meaning each of the section's Google Form assignments, they will receive a Share Up badge, which will be honored at the Future at Work Summit by fast-tracking your participants to their job interviews. And the badge looks like this. We will verify completion of the module at the Summit check-in desk. Also, following the Share Up learning experience, Leaders Up will release new courses in career readiness and development that aligned with the job seekers pathway, guiding them from their first introduction of their personal brand through their start date, their onboarding, and their career growth. The next module that will be shared via Google Classroom is called KidUp. KidUp provides a toolkit of resources to help the young adults convert their job offer into a start date. In this module, they will also have access to our career coaches through our new app called the Future at Work Connected, where they can access Leaders Up staff in real time on their mobile devices for additional support to achieve their career goals. Stay tuned for our launch of the Future at Work Connected app coming soon. If you or your participants have any questions regarding the Google Classroom, please contact Denny at denny at leadersup.org. That's D-E-N-N-Y at leadersup.org. Again, we're very excited to share this new learning opportunity with you and your participants. We hope that they enjoy their experience and that they walk away with the knowledge and tools to be successful at the upcoming Future at Work Summit. Thank you.